But when the Sex Pistols came out with God Save the Queen 40 years ago, on the 27th of May 1977, it was instantly greeted with widespread, visible condemnation. Since punk rock's earliest days, the genre has sought to challenge social norms and traditions. Others saw it as an attack on civilization itself. Many viewed the song as an all-out assault on the morals and values of British culture. Many think the song was announced on radio because it distilled punk's key complaints into a single, targeted hit against British civic and political life, which was embodied by the royal family. Originally entitled No Future, the song ended up changing its name to God Save the Queen, an appropriation of the British national anthem. The Pistols' version was an anti-anthem, a critique of Queen Elizabeth II, whose Silver Jubilee, a celebration to commemorate the 25th anniversary of her ascension to the throne, happened to coincide with the year of the song's release. However, the Queen's son, Prince Charles personally wrote to Sex Pistols' frontman, Johnny Rotten begging him not to attack the Queen, and instead take her place in the firing line instead. In a book titled, The Prince Charles Letters compiled by David Stutz reveals what Charles wrote in the letter, I cannot ask you to suppress your free speech. Might I then suggest that instead of attacking my mother on this summer's special occasion, that I place myself in her stead? I realize you're an angry young man, I get angry myself sometimes. So I know exactly how you feel indeed, Charles had out the lyrical ideas for the song which he willfully expressed in the letter. According to Charles, it might run as follows. God bless the prince let's make him into mince. He's got stupid stick out ears. Gets his kicks shooting deers the mid 70s was economically a difficult time in Britain. The country was collapsing economically, there had been inflation rates as high as 27% in 1975, with a weak pound, widespread industrial action, IRE atrocities and general fear of nuclear conflict and a general sense of decay. The then Labour government endorsed the idea of massive celebrations of the Jubilee as our unifying force in the country, with a nostalgic look back at past glories and the spirit of the Blitz, with the resilience shown by British people.